Hi guys, um, today I'm going to explain you one of the most interesting features of Solo which is torque control and uh, in this tutorial we're going to do the torque control with one Arduino uh, just before I go deep into the, the explanation I would say that uh, linked down below you can find the uh, like comprehensive explanations on our website for this project especially the codes for Arduino and everything else so you can always go to our website and find much more interesting uh, materials for different types of motors for different types of operations different projects it's very interesting so in this tutorial I'm gonna explain you first of all what is the torque control of a model where it's used and what does it mean basically and then we're gonna use solo to control the torque of a brushless dc motor as you can see here on the shaft of the brushless dc motor using an arduino this is super simple very very simple because from Arduino, you only need one pin to command Solo to apply different torques on the motor for you. You might need one other pin for uh, defining the direction of rotation, which you can use any kinds of digital outputs of the uh, Arduino. But for now, we're using only one pin to define the amount of torque on the shaft of the motor. So about the usages of the torque control, I would briefly say that uh, the torque control is basically used in traction systems. Tractions meaning like electric vehicles, uh, scooters, uh, uh, electric bicycles or electrical motors, uh, by, uh, motorcycles I mean, and uh, the reason I mean we use torque control is first of all it's much more reliable than any other controls because it's simpler it's faster and uh, uh, but there are some drawbacks about the torque control for example in torque control it highly depends on uh, the amount of load on the shaft of the motor meaning that you cannot control a speed like the way you do with the speed controller with torque controller because the torque controller is not meant to control a speed it's meant to control torque, meaning that uh, it actually controls the amount of force you feel here on the shaft, which is called torque, of, of course, but like in a very simple language, if I'm gonna say, so when you increase torque, you will see that your motor moves much more forcefully. And the amount of speed you reach is depending on the amount of uh, load or force you're applying on the shaft of the motor so if you're applying very low uh, for, uh, load on your on the shaft for sure you will have much more speed for a certain uh, for a fixed amount of torque and if you reduce or increase the load uh, while the torque is fixed you will have a different speed so all these things means that uh, we don't use torque control to control a speed but we use torque control to control of course torque but which leads to a different speed and uh, if i'm gonna explain it to you maybe you would uh, you would understand it better but the reason these kind of controllers can be used better in uh, in uh, traction systems is that while you have a um, uh, traction system you might need to uh, control it by a human or uh, there would be a human in the loop or uh, there would be a guy steering it or pushing it forward and uh, they can always increase or decrease the torque to reach to the speed they want it's exactly like a car like a like a car with gasoline so when you push the pedal you're not increasing the speed you're increasing the torque on the on the wheels and Depending on the condition you are, that will lead you to go to uh, higher speeds. If you, uh, if your car, you have like a, like a, uh, it's only you, uh, it's a, you're going on a flat area. So if you push the pedal, you will have much more speed than if you're going uphill. So that's a torque control, and it's a little bit complicated. You might not never heard of it, but it's a different thing. 
with Tor control, you can apply like different terminologies of control, like uh, impedance control, like very interesting uh, force control stuff. And uh, it's very reliable. Uh, and very interestingly, on solo, you do not need to know, you do not need to do anything for tuning your model for moving on uh, in a torque mode. The only thing you need to do is, first of all, the first pin of the uh, uh, the uh, piano switch you have should be set on top, meaning that you want solo to work in closed loop. The second piano switch, uh, the second pin is for defining whether you want torque control or a speed control in a closed loop form. So now we want torque control, so we push it up. The third one defines the maximum current allowed to go to, through the motor. So uh, here, uh, if it's down, it means you want the maximum current. If it's up, you, it means that you want almost a third of the maximum current. For now, we put it on the bottom, meaning that we want the maximum current go to the motor if it's needed, which is around 30 amps. And uh, the, the pin number fourth and fifth, they are in charge of selecting the type of motor you have. This is a brushed CD motor, and this is the configuration you need to do. Four up, five down. And as I told you in other videos, uh, when a four is up and five is down, the amount of switching frequency on the output for the motor is 20 kilohertz. Sometimes you need to put it on different frequencies by changing this. So if if the number four is up and number five is down, it means you are in a brushless motor mode. Doesn't matter if it's brushless DC or permanent magnet synchronous motor or uh, 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 um, any other types of uh, brushless motors. But what matters is now the frequency at the output is 20 kilohertz. If you put it up, the frequency at the output becomes 80 kilohertz, still in brushless mode, but becomes 80 kilohertz. It's useful for ultra fast motors but this motor is not ultra fast, it's like a motor with 3000 RPM and it's like a conventional brushless TC motor. So uh, we use the uh, piano switch in this mode and uh, uh, solo is operating like normally, no problem. I have the uh, potentiometer here just for showing you that when I increase the potentiometer value, the torque on the motor will increase, and when I decrease the potential matter value, the torque will decrease. So, what will happen, when I'm, I'm gonna show you, when you have everything off, and you turn it off uh, on for the first time solo, as you saw in the beginning, there is like a little vibration on the shaft of solo, and that vibration is for uh, uh, identifying the motor parameters. So, it doesn't matter, you, you, uh, you can also do it only once, uh, in other versions we will save this parameter and uh, avoid doing it uh, every time, but for now, when this is done, which takes around less than a second, your motor is all set, you don't need to do anything, everything is there, and uh, now the only thing you, need, you can do is you increase the amount of torque on the shaft of the motor. So I'm gonna increase it a little bit, so there are lots of interesting things in this and uh, I'm gonna tell you one by one. Now I, I rotated the uh, potentiometer from zero, like this is zero, locked a little bit high. The motor starts to vibrate. This is not enough torque for the motor to start rotation. When it reaches to the um, like enough amount, it starts rotating. And you can see here, this is not a good indication, but on the power supply, we are draining a lot like, like around 300 milliamps, 400 milliamps. The torque has, uh, in any kinds of motors, the torque has a direct relation with the amount of current in the motor floating. So, all the time, when you increase the torque, you're expecting to have much higher current going through your motor. So as you can also, I'm gonna show you here, you would see on power supply or any or your battery that you are draining more current. This current is not exactly the amount of current you have in your motor, but it can be as an indication for you. So for now, for example, if I increase the, the torque, you will see that the current goes high, much higher, and I go down. 
there are points here let's go back to the torque control first now i have almost the minimum amount of torque on this motor it's rotating with a very high speed actually it rotates with the nominal speed of the motor but it doesn't have any power you can see that i can easily grab it with my hand this is this means that although it's going with a very high speed but i can keep it with my own hand with almost no force or very very minimum force this is the amount of torque now we have on this motor and if i increase the torque further it's much harder to grab the motor it's much harder because you have much more torque and it's harder to grab the motor and and the reason you're seeing that this motor sometimes uh, goes out of uh, i would say synchronization is because in torque mode you must have load on your shaft torque mode is not used when there is nothing on the shaft of the motor it's it's not for those kind of usages torque mode is used when you have a sh load on the shaft of your motor because this motor is not uh, in torque mode it will go to its maximum speed or even higher than that because according to the uh, some physics laws you might know that the uh, the torque is equal to the uh, 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 rotational acceleration multiplied by uh, rotation uh, by inertia and if you apply a fixed torque on a motor it means that you're applying like a fixed acceleration on the shaft of the motor this doesn't happen in nature because uh, you, uh, you in this case you should reach to infinite uh, speed but it doesn't happen in like real life but infinite speed here means that probably you go out of synchronization and that's why you saw like those vibrations so when you use torque control you must have load on the shaft and depending on the amount of load if you increase the torque the speed of the rotation of your motor will increase with a different torque you reach to a different speed so that's a kind of an indirect way of controlling the speed for the systems they uh, which are uh, uh, which are having loads on the shaft and uh, sometimes it's much easier and much safer for you to use torque control rather than a speed control but although solo has the closed loop speed control as well and i'm going to explain you in other videos uh, what is the uh ways to what is the way to tune solo for the uh, uh, closed speed control but the torque control is very interesting you can use it for traction system you can use it for scooters we, we have a, we have made a scooter uh, uh, with solo controlled by solo and uh, we have the link down below to our project in our website and we use torque control there you can use some control for traction systems very nicely and i hope that uh, in other videos i can explain you more about these features uh, in our website for sure we will put some uh, more uh, details in depth and uh, i hope you enjoyed it see you on next videos